Today, we are making a one-of-a-kind delicious recipe of grilled potatoes in a smoky tomato sauce. This dish is loaded with Spanish flavors, it's effortless to make, and it's made with the most basic ingredients. Once again, in this recipe, we're going to treat the potato as a main ingredient, which means you can serve this dish as a tapas appetizer, as a side dish, or even as a main course next to a salad. Folks, this is what it's all about. Big, bold flavors, easy to make. Let's dive right in. We're going to begin by scrubbing clean one large Yukon Go potato under cold running water and then panning it dry. As you can see, I'm leaving the skin on the potato as it gives it a great flavor. But if you prefer, you can peel the potato. For the next step, we're going to cut the potato into large wedges. You want to cut the potato in half lengthwise, each half and half lengthwise again, and then come in at an angle to create the wedges. And you want to get four wedges from each half for a total of eight wedges from the potato. I'm going to transfer the potato wedges into a stock pot. Fill it with cold water to about half an inch above the potatoes. And heat it with a high heat. While the potato wedges are cooking in the stock pot, I'm going to get the rest of the ingredients ready. I'm going to finely dice half of an onion. Finely mince three cloves of garlic. and grab a handful of fresh parsley and finely chop it. All right, let's move back to the potatoes. It's been between 14 to 15 minutes since I turned on the heat and the potatoes should be perfectly boiled. You don't want to overboil them, otherwise they're going to fall apart. You can always pierce one of them with a toothpick and if it easily goes in, but with some resistance, they're ready to go. Using a slotted spoon, I'm going to start removing the potato wedges from the stock pot and transferring them into a dish. While the potatoes are cooling off, let's start making our smoky tomato sauce. I'm going to heat a large fry pan with a medium heat and add in a generous two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. After heating the olive oil for two minutes, I'm going to add in the diced onions into the pan along with the minced garlic and start mixing those onions and garlics with that extra virgin olive oil. You want to mix this continuously, that way nothing burns and everything cooks evenly. About three minutes after adding the onions and garlics into the pan, and those onions are nice and translucent, I'm going to add in one teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika. This is the secret ingredient that gives this dish that incredible pop of flavors and mix it all together, that way the paprika is evenly mixed around. Then I'm going to add in one 15 ounce can of tomato sauce into the pan, about half a tablespoon of the freshly chopped parsley, and season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And I'm going to give this a quick mix. That way all the ingredients are evenly mixed together. I'm going to lower it to a low to low medium heat. And we're going to simmer our smoky tomato sauce while we move on to the last step of the recipe. Let's grab our potato wedges, which are now cool enough to handle. We're going to add them into a cutting board. Give them a quick pat down with some paper towels just to remove any of the excess water. I'm going to brush a kiss of extra virgin olive oil on top of each potato wedge and season them with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And you want to do this on both sides. Okay, let's start grilling up our potato wedges. I'm going to grab a large grill pan and heat it with a medium heat. After heating the pan between two to three minutes, I'm going to start adding the potato wedges into the pan. You want to make sure they're all in a single layer. Okay. 
After five to six minutes, I'm gonna gently start flipping the potato wedges to grill the other side. And after a total of about 11 to 12 minutes, these grilled potatoes are ready to go. I'm gonna remove them from the heat and let's start plating our dish. I'm gonna grab our simmering smoky tomato sauce, add some into a serving dish, and make sure you evenly spread it around. And then eat a couple of our grilled potato wedges on top of the sauce. and sprinkle it with some freshly chopped parsley. Look how incredible this dish turned out. Let's give it a try and see how it tastes. This dish, I cannot wait to try. Here we go. Absolutely beautiful. First things first is those potatoes, the texture, they are perfectly cooked through. You have a little bit of a crispiness in the outside. In the inside, it smells in your mouth. And then that smoky tomato sauce, the secret here, use a good quality sweet smoked Spanish paprika. It takes this dish over the top. Once again, you saw this. We grabbed the hummel potato and created an extraordinary dish full of so many great flavors. Really quick before I go, a shout out to one of my patrons, Michael Kelly Thompson. Again, guys, thank you so much for all your support. I truly appreciate you. For the rest of you, if you're not with me on Patreon, consider becoming one. It helps with ingredients ingredients and equipment to continue making videos like this, you'll find my Patreon link in the description box below and iCard above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.